Okay, no, that's gotten me in a, <laughs> that's gotten me in a bad mood for the rest of this. But okay, I have already beaten this, and when I beat it, I was not expecting it to be the way it was. So this is going to be a little bit more of a critique than a let's play. Uh, up until this part of the game, the game has been very, very good. Uh, not counting the pinball thing, where all my hopes and dreams were dashed in one fell swoop. Um, but anyway, this is the final boss, and there's all sorts of problems with it that kind of make it disappointing for me. And um, let's just go, I'll just show you. I have no point in just... I S ranked it, don't pay attention to that. Um, but anyway. Okay, whatever you are, if you want to avoid an embarrassing beatdown, you better give up now. You're not in a position to demand anything, you nasty little pincushion. Eggman! But how? He had a little help. Dr. Robotnik! Nobody calls me that anymore. If you would be so kind as to explain, gentleman genius Dr. Eggman from the future. It would be my pleasure, most excellent and efficacious Dr. Eggman of the past. After my most recent setback, I stumbled upon the primordial form of this unique creation, which I discovered had amazing abilities even I have never been able to master. It could erase time and space. I then had the brilliant idea to use my discovery to undo my previous defeats. In order to perfect it, I needed the help of somebody as smart as I am. The only person that smart is me. Oh, you are too kind, my dear future self. And I was happy to help. I captured your friends, flinging them through time to bait my traps. But the more your monster tears through time, the more damage you do to the world. The world? I'm going to own the world when I'm finished with Sonic! Wow, will I really get that crazy? <laughs> we'll see who's crazy after I destroy both Sonics. Forever. You mean, after we destroy them? Less arguing, more destroying. Destroy me? You and what mustache? I beat you all the time by myself, and now there's two of me. Then I'll have twice as much fun defeating you. For the record, this part didn't have to be a cutscene. I would have enjoyed actually playing this. I'm still going to stump you into a blue jelly. I'm still here. I'm watching. I'm just, I'm just being quiet. I don't really feel like talking over cutscenes. You are dead. Not a big surprise. <laughs> oh no, they're not. No, no. Ooh, now they are. Oh no, the boss is too strong for us. That was just to soften you up. Now it's time to meet your doom. How will we overcome this boss who is too strong for us? Come on, Sonic! Smack him! Uh, not you! You've got this, Sonic. You can win, Sonic. Who are they? They're cameos from every single character that didn't really belong in this series, but they're here anyway, so here you go. We're with you guys! Oh. Uh, this is going to lead one of my tr points later. In, Sonic. I know you can do this, Sonic. Keep a head count, kids. You always do. And yes, of course, the Chaos Emeralds, because what Sonic game would be complete without this happening? Time to scramble some Eggman, Super Sonic style. All righty then. This is the final battle. Here's the deal. 
We are fighting against this thing, which is called the Time Eater. And this fight is not like any of the other ones in the game because we're using Supersonic and stuff gets messed up whenever you use Supersonic. But here's the deal. Basically, and this is going to be first my critiques about this and secondly what's cool about this. My critiques are there is no purpose for swapping between the two Sonics at all. None. The only reason you have to swap between these two Sonics during this fight is to follow the boss. So whenever the boss switches, you switch. Whenever the boss switches, you switch. They could have come up with a way, way better reason for switching other than the boss switches, so you must as well. That's my first problem with this fight. My second problem with this fight, which will show up in a bit, hopefully, is... You may have noticed all of the characters we rescued in the game talking. They do not stop talking. It is constant. Every five seconds, someone quips in with, It's a homie shot! Or, Look out, Sonic! After a while, it just starts to get annoying. You don't want to listen to these people anymore. I mean, I appreciate Sega wants to fit all of the characters in the final boss. But God, you just got too many freaking characters. If you want to do something cool, leave it to the main three. Silver, Sonic, and Shadow. And that's really all you need if you want to go that route. If you want to include all of the characters from previous games, do that. The other thing is, the only advice they give you is look out for homing shots. And what was the other thing? Was look out for homing, homing shots and um, something else. Something I can't quite remember at the moment. Um, oh yeah, look out for general things that makes no sense. Now, you are not given instructions for how to actually kill the boss until you get close to the boss, in which case someone goes, CHARGE INTO THE CORE! And you're like, oh, that's how we stop this boss. We have to charge into the core. BELLY BUTTON ATTACK! Ah! And at this point, you are pretty much just charging into his belly button and making him explode. Look at all the rings. So, what this ends up being is a giant acid trip of avoid things, listen to all of the characters talk in the background, backseat driving for no apparent reason because they're not giving you any useful advice. And I don't even know what that. I don't. I hit. When you hit A, it makes your other Sonic that you're not using at the time shoot forward, and I don't know what the purpose of that actually is. I was never able to figure that out. The only thing I was able to discern from that is it knocks debris out of your way, I guess, so you don't run into it. Maybe that's the point. But there you go. That's the entire fight, pretty much. It's run into the boss's belly button, listen to a bunch of annoying characters say the same things over and over again. And that's it. It's kind of disappointing. I'm sorry. It is. Um, considering the last boss, which was incredibly hard, and I bitched about that a lot, but it was fun. It was hard and it was fun. Because when I finally was able to kill him, I felt like I'd done something. That's good. That's good. You definitely want to have that happen. This boss, on the other hand, and I might die here in a little bit, just because I'm not really paying attention. I'm too busy doing commentary and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna die here, just because I'm running run out of rings. But anyway, this boss is easy. It takes no effort to figure out this boss's strategy after hit him in the belly button. I was stuck on that part for the longest time, just because I was expecting one of the characters to say exactly what I needed to do to kill the boss. I would have tried it out beforehand if I if I had you know, known that. But what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, just to illustrate my point, is hold down the X button, 
and position myself towards his belly button. And um, I'm going to use just the X button and the control stick and the Y button to switch phases. And that's all I'm going to do. And um, that's how I'm going to kill him. Because that's all you need to do. There's there's no special mechanics, there's no rail grinding, there's no... None of those abilities that you learn over the game help. They never come into play here. I mean, we learned how to do a ground pound, we learned how to do a light dash, we learned how to do... All sorts of things that could have featured in this boss fight. But... None of them... Actually... Happened. Nah. It's just, you're in the time stream, and you're chasing after this big dude, and homing shots, lol homing shots, lol homing shots. Apparently, they're a huge effing deal, because you can't go 10 seconds without someone saying, Ah, it's a homing shot! It's, it's god awful. I hope I don't die again. I think I'm kind of angry. But anyway, that's the boss. In a full, full thing. I think I was able to beat him the first time because I built so easily. Because I built up like 120 of these rings. And then just charged him. I mean, pass. I, I, this, this is it. This is, this is it. Just dodge the things. Homing shots. Um, that's it. Yep. Pretty much. What else can I talk about? Um. Oh! Oh, that's another thing. You have to dodge his little bursts? Maybe that's what I was doing wrong earlier, was I wasn't dodging his little bursts. I, I apologize for that. So I guess that's a little bit complicated. You gotta dodge this thing when you get too close. Nope. Yeah, there we go. That wasn't too hard to figure out, I suppose. Oh, I guess I didn't do it right. Oh, that's the one thing I was doing wrong. Alright. I apologize. Uh, I would have been able to do that if I had been paying attention. But... I guess this was a good time as any to do my review of this game uh, as a whole. Uh, I'm gonna actually bother to get rings now. But my review of this game as a whole. This game is good. It is good. This final boss is not good. This final boss is a little bit lazy, in my opinion. I mean, it's good colors, it's the graphics are on 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 par they're they're really nice i mean it's pretty as hell but dear god is it just annoying and it just seems pointless it, i mean there's a lot more they could have done with it mechanics wise to make it a lot more fun to me But that's, uh, let's see, level by level. They really represented all of the previous games, I think, as well as they possibly could have. My favorites were, of course, City Escape, because I have a special place in my heart for that level. Uh, but I think they did the best job on probably... Uh, Sky Sanctuary was a really impressive one when I first saw it. I was just like, oh my god, Sky Sanctuary! Oh, here's another thing that happens. Time slows down. Um, forgot about that too. But that doesn't affect anything. And there's no point in them telling you time is slowing down and time is going back to normal when I can clearly see that the two are happening without you telling me about it. Thank you. This is the kind of thing I'm talking about. It's like someone, does, someone completely different designed this last level. Uh, just a different person who wasn't even working on the game. 
Because these stupid little things happen that have no effect on anything other than to make the screen look really awesome. That would be an awesome wallpaper. But I, I wouldn't use this boss's wallpaper ever in my, in my life. Get in the belly button so I can end the boss. End the boss. End the boss. Go! Belly button attack! Yes. Thank you. Was it three or was it? No, I guess it wasn't. Oh, yeah, and then this part happens. We gotta hit both of the. Yep, yeah, mind the powers. Another pointless thing that doesn't really amount to anything, because it did. Yep. So. Shake hands, and death to everyone, and the boss is defeated. Do I sound disappointed enough? I think I do. I think I'm gonna stop talking about it now, though. I'm done. Got my point across. For a really epic and awesome return to glory, not a good way to end the game. But I digress, that is enough talking about that. Let us see the end. Chili dog! Still warm! <laughs> Time travel! I could go for a chili dog right now, I'm hungry. Oh my god, am I hungry? I'll admit, you weren't half bad, Sonic. Half bad? Are you kidding? He was all great! He collects how many? Wow, where does somebody put all those gold rings? You know what? I don't know. I keep forgetting to ask. <laughs> Game picking on itself. Well, that's good. That's a lighthearted way to end this. You think it'd be a little bit awkward to have all these people suddenly here you. that you didn't invite well, to the party, though? Well, that'll help you out in the future. I mean, the past. It, you know what I mean. Dude, sweet! And you're only gonna get better! There's our ride! Hey, Sonic! Enjoy your future! It's gonna be great! You're going to work for Progressive! You're gonna make really funny commercials, but you won't be allowed to say anything, because that'll break copyrights. Or something. So that's Sonic Generations. Pretty good game. I liked it a lot. Um, it's on sale on Steam, I think, today, actually. I don't know if this will be coming out the same day, but... Definitely a game you want to pick up if you're a Sonic fan. Um, maybe Sega will take a hint and keep going with this. Sega and Sonic Team. Um, you made a good game. Uh, it, it, was, it was amazing. I'm a little bit disappointed that the DLC wasn't another level, because that's what I assumed it was going to be. Um, instead I got a shitty pitfall game. That's not good. But past that, and the final boss, I loved this game. It was fantastic. I almost wish the game had ended at Egg Dragoon. It would have made every bit of sense. It would have been fine. Um, and I wouldn't have had to bitch about something. But there you go. So, while we get our music in the background wrapping up the game, and we should see all these awesome people- CRUSH 40! CRUSH 40! Oh, That's my band. That's my freaking band. They made- they made, uh, Awesome City Escape music, I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna- I'm gonna be pretty embarrassed if that's not right. But That's Sonic Generations. What do I have planned past this? I am going to probably go back to Let's Play Bioshock immediately after this, actually. And then, 
Amnesia is going to be getting finished remotely soon. I might do a teaser for that before too long. Heck, I might just do that tonight. That might be fun. Um, and I might have that up pretty soon. I'm pretty sure you, you guys would like a teaser for Amnesia, so I uh, might, might as well do that. But Bioshock's gonna come out, and then I'm waiting on Assassin's Creed. I'm waiting on Dragon's Age. Dragon's Age and Assassin's Creed will not come out for a while. Do not be expecting them for a while. Um, heck, you're more likely to get Jade Empire before either of those games. Jeff did a Let's Play of Assassin's Creed 1 and 2, and immediately I don't feel like playing it anymore. Oh, <laughs> that's my song to music. <laughs> Can't stick around, gotta keep moving on. Cause what lies ahead, only one way to find out. Must keep on moving ahead. No time for guesses, follow my path instead. Trusting in what you can see. Change my lead, I'll set you free. Follow me, set me free. Trust me and we will escape from the city. I'll make it through, follow me, set me free, trust me and we will escape from the city, I'll make it through, prove it to you, follow me, oh yeah. Alright, sorry about that. Anyway. That's my plans, that's everything that's going to happen, and I do hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Uh, I hope I didn't drone on too bad the ending, but I couldn't, I couldn't just coast through that final boss willy-nilly and lolzy. I had to say something. I'm sorry. Uh, if, if at any point I come across something in a game that completely tears it apart and makes it not fun, I will do so. I will completely rip on it. Uh, I have two modes, apparently, in uh, Let's Play styles, which one of them is more related to, let's see, what's, what's the first one? It's a mix of Tobuscus, uh, let's see, what was the other ones? It's a mix of Tob Tobuscus, Simon of the Yogg's Cast, Fred, and... God, that other guy that I can't remember right now. Oh, sorry, Paragon Nova. It's like some weird contortion of all four of those. Blended with a unicorn together. That's one mode of Let's Playing. The other mode is like, I've been watching way too much Nostalgia Critic recently, and it's caused me to be a lot more objective and uh, less fanboy, I guess, in regards to what I'm doing and game playing and stuff like that. So I will be less afraid to give my honest-to-god opinion on things from now on. And I'm giving the screen the finger right now. You can't see it, but I am giving the screen the finger right now as this as this uh, game is playing. Oh, nope. Finger's gone. Sonic Unleashed was okay. But hey, I think that's all we need to talk about. Uh, it's been a good ride. It, I've enjoyed playing through a more action-y game rather than a game that would just annoy the crap out of me because of how hard it is. Hitman Blood Money? Anyone? Hitman Blood Money? Hitman Blood Money LP? Dogs. Ah. Uh, regardless. That's another thing. I have a secret LP. Um, there's another stealth game that I'm thinking about doing an LP of that I might venture into. And I will only say that it is a Tom Clancy game. It is, a town, it is actually a Tom Clancy game. That is all I will say about it. And I'm going to leave you to wonder uh, what it is until far later. <laughs> I love that game. I'm going to go back and do a Let's Play of Sonic Colors eventually. I don't know. Maybe. It all depends on if I get some screen capturing software. I played that game for the uh, 360, and it was amazing. Sonic Colors is good, guys. It, it. I think it was almost, like, I would almost say it's about on par with Sonic Generations. A lot of people don't agree with that, 
but the my favorite part of Sonic Generations is the running models. I really don't like the old school retro as much, and that doesn't make me a true Sonic fan, but hey, it's just what I do, and I enjoy what I do. So, with all that taken care of, and my throat, hor my horse throat, horse, I believe we've come to a conclusion. See you in the future. And of course, happy birthday, Sonic. Go, go star in your progressive commercial. Go, go, sell insurance. Sell insurance for the corporate, corporate structure. Go. It is your destiny. Oh, and you get a bonus cutscene for watching the credits. Are you sure you saw a door over here? What? You were the one who said you saw a door over here. Well, I know it was one of us. Shut up and keep looking. What time is it? It's the exact same time as when you asked earlier, and it'll be the exact same time when you ask later. There is no time here! Let me just say that this was a brilliant plan that you came up with. Don't get too self-righteous. It'll be your plan pretty soon. I'm gonna dedicate the rest of my life to forgetting it. I heard that. Do we ever win? That depends on your definition of win. Beating Sonic. Oh, well then no. That doesn't give me much hope. Maybe I'll go back and get my teaching degree. That's not a bad idea. I've always enjoyed telling people what to do. Ha. <laughs>